Give me some chicken true blade. Don't fucking hide it. You gotta give up the chicken. Give up the chicken. Give up the chicken. The barracks are growing fucking mold in the ceiling. That's a bit scary. It's a bit fucking scary. What's up, folks? Name's Rack. I'm a coach. It's the roast. How you fucking doing? <sighs> watching that guy in the chat right now like a hawk anyway how we doing chat oh there was a black shit starting to form on my <laughs> I feel like Sophronaz hasn't cleaned a day in his life he's like oh no stuff I have to clean it's tough it's very tough ugh what do you mean no mold equals concerning? What, you can't keep a clean, like, barracks or anything, or what? Just try it when you say chicken count as racism. Yes, it certainly would sound like racism. And I would recommend being very, very careful with the silly shit you say in the future. Uh, if you want to sell that med news, you can go right ahead. You have about two minutes to do so. No mold equals you're already there. Mold equals you're almost there. I mean, if that's the angle you're going for, sure. I just want, I just want the chicken trooper. Give me the trick. Give me your chicken. Give me the goddamn chicken. <laughs> Gotta make the sauce. What kind of sauce? Is it good sauce? Is it sexy sauce? <laughs> Oi! Wreck! Oi! Ooh! Ten bucks from Mendes. Two, 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 yay! <laughs> yeah! We got that good shit. It's chicken, that's all you need to know. That's basically it. So, for those that are just are just arrived or have never heard about like what Overwatch has done of recent... Come get week, some! Oh, hang on. So, rest us with Twitch Prime. Thanks, sir. Mitchell of an appreciation. Ten months. Two months away from the golden bean. Woo! So yeah, Overwatch's uh, version of Roll Queue came out recently. And on top of that, they actually did the first thing to, like, do first steps towards locking team comps properly and making them not shit. So you can't, like, run three tanks, three supports anymore. So Roll Queue also includes a 2-2-2 roll lock system where you actually can only play two tanks, two DPS, two supports. That's it. There's no, like, fuck-arounds, there's no goats, there's no weird shit. It's just those. Which is good. Which means no more 5 DPS games, right, boys? Yay! Alright, so... Since Medaniz was uh, kind and crazy enough to throw in the old tenor for, for this, I'm going to start with him in a moment. I'm just going to go out and tell the masses that I'm live. If I remember where the fuck I'm going. But yes, big love to everyone that's here today. Hope you're all ready for some roasting goodness. But yeah. We good. Roll Q saved my rank. Well, speaking of, actually, big congratulations to you, boy, Mendes. Roll Q has landed your boy in diamond. Yeah, the fucking boys. From gold to diamond in a, in a set of placements and awesomeness. I fucking love it, Mendes, mate. Great fucking streak. The guy's back on track. Get some fucking claps in the chat. Rack, I'm almost plat with Sigma. I like it. I want to see, like, Sigma in pro play so I can get, like, a better idea of how people are playing him properly. Because if I don't get a better look at it soon, it's just going to be really freaking awkward. And so it's 2965 because of Roll Q. Are you all just, like, giving all the love to Roll Q and forgetting that I'm right fucking here teaching you people? Like, come on! Ugh. Give me a week and I'll be back and go. Bullshit! I believe in you, Mendes. We're going, we're going to keep you in diamond. That's the hashtag today. Keep Mendes in diamond. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep the boy in diamond. Speaking of, where the fuck are we? Mendes videos. All right, so Mendes is up first because, you know, old love and stuff. The Lee Jang Tower to start off with. Uh -huh. So, Mendes in diamond. Oh, it's good to say that. It's fucking good to say that. I don't think that's the real effect, bro. Just saying. <laughs> so he's playing more to start off with, and the map, the first map of the day is Li Jiang Teller. 
Do do this prevents scuffed games from bad team comms. It's true. Which were definitely prevalent in lower ranks. Alright. I think everyone can handle that volume. Average per 10 damage is a sigma. Is that stat per, like, per minute? 10 minutes? It's fine. Double shield's really good if they don't run symmetry. You know, the 99 percent of the reason I'm low dime and keep up the good work. Thanks, Lazy Pal. Although I'm not entirely sure who you are because you have, obviously have a different name from Discord. But yeah. Hope you're enjoying yourself, man. Okay, the guy became more aggressive in Roll Queue. Probably. Hey, look! It's the same basic bitch comp that everyone's fucking playing. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no, it's Sigma. Never mind. It's Sigma instead of Hawk. You're safe. Alright. Hey, Ryan's Ryan. Is that a damage orb? Ryan's Ooh. Up. Fucking. I see a dead Orisa and a damage orb. What do you think happened there? Still got the hang of, like. You know, light sprays and whatnot, but uh, yeah, you guys are going to be on the back foot without a main tank. That's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> oh, Maddie. Hard start. Damage orb again. Man, the the, <laughs> the diamond life has made you very aggressive. You're out of juice now as well. How are you going to make it through this predicament? Eh? Alright, good. Got a healing orb out. Is everyone engaging with it? Not really. Definitely gone a bit aggressive with this. You are spending the juice a bit too much just purely because of this. Start draining, bruh. You gotta start draining, people. Fuck, you might as well just hit it at this point. Give it the communication, Mitty. I'm, I'm ready for it. Is that it? Are you damage yeah, beaming? Madden is what's going on here, man? A little too much aggression going on. Faded nothing there. Like literally nothing. Yeah, you guys are definitely on the back foot now. You faded absolutely nothing, man, and when you needed it you could have gotten out. Yeah, we probably need you to push it this way. Dude. But you guys like literally a fucking goats calm and you should be like running in together and you're not, which is a bit fucking awkward. Oh. Like, how do I play Reaper and Mamie and match up with neutral asking for a free? <laughs> 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 Rosie, I don't think I'm ready for that. For that discussion right now. I already spent most of the last night laughing my ass off with a friend of mine about it. It was fucking awful. Oh, so is Zora, how you doing? I mean, Azora can see it because she's, she can see the deleted messages, but fucking, that, that joke only rests between us. And I can't, I can't share it because I don't want to fucking, like, completely disparage the guy. Oh. There's no front attacks anymore, I get oh, I mean, this is honestly not that much better right now because we need to actually, like, enforce the fact that you need to be... Oh. Okay, good, you saved him. So you're about to get melted. Fade, dude! Fade! Fade! There was no fade! Oh, <laughs> thank you for the thousand and... how many? 1048 bits. Mr. Chaos King 24, which I love, dude. Thank you. I will let Sir Legion know that he has been surpassed, and uh, we'll sort it out. <laughs> And it's already, see, I thought this was a different good Overwatch player. If that was the case, you wouldn't be here either, Rosie, so I'd be careful. Science will reveal the truth. It'd be ten, yeah, it'd be 1024 if that was the case. Final take on. Damn right, Rosie. Now that is a play I can get behind. Actual decent use for Symmetra for the first time ever. Actually have a point set up. Actually have people safe. Ryan just got smashed. I love it. As long as you don't have your back to like in the open too much, you should be fine. So just be careful of that. But yeah, on that, you're pretty spot on to take this point. Well done. I'm gonna hit you next time. You want to escape it next time? That's right. 
Get a picture. Film it. Film it. Yes. Picture. What is unleashing? Glad this time you actually managed to bow back and properly heal the teammate. Is that the only ult that was spent? So that's pretty fucking okay, solid. Okay. Rolled that orb a little bit awkwardly, but not bad otherwise. <laughs> Like two inches taller than me. You, you're tiny, yeah, Rosie. <laughs> Are you both tiny? How cute. Zen's name? I missed it. What is it? Check for the big Effect, right? Yeah, I said it before. Yeah. Both small. That's okay. I really wish you'd stop using your fade at random, like, junctures like this. Because it's not giving you any benefit. Plus, I probably would have held on to the yeah, healing orb so you could bounce it inside the point. Nice. Just cram yourself in between the wall and the barrier, you'll be fine. Where is one? She got nigga. This is an interesting stall tactic, but it doesn't actually give you anything you want. You have to just keep pressuring them. What did you fade again? Oh, it's like watching Petrichor's video again. It's randomly fading yeah, out of rally. nothing. Three of y'all are purple. Send that orb through very soon. Yep, cool. Unrain, unrain. Honestly, I don't even think the ult's necessary here, but I mean, it'll it'll keep, if it keeps the mode down before they can even get back in the front, it's fine. Alright, heal's coming your way, McCree. Back up for them if you need it. Nice column. Nice. Good Solid. Difference. Much better when you're not actually like running out and getting yourself killed over and over again. Might be because there wasn't a single damage orb spent this round, but you know, I digress, you know, I digress. I digress. I digress. There's that no damage orb usually means like good free. If they could John three thousand for the follow. <clears throat> I think this comp will be good on this map too, so some damage orbs are good. This is true, but in in a situation where your attack is getting pressured the fuck out, I would rather see you drop a healing orb on him. Oh yeah, it's true. I think he needs to use it. Yeah, he needs to use it. Okay, point. Uh, the Arista sounds hella deadpan. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Nah. The Symmetra's definitely like helping you guys out though. Like, you guys are getting like hella good point coverage just for that. Like, oh no, it's a doom fist! He's on, he's on. Nice, it's big. Good react. Alright, break shield, break shield. Would you guys actually playing together? Color me tickle. Big shield break, big shield break. Right in. It's free as fuck. Friend, this is exactly what you want to be able to do with Rissa Hog. Is just like sit behind right, your shield, right, break theirs, and they can't even advance on you because you already have point like progress. Uh, McCree, man. Just play shield, play shield. McCree, so. Except play shield, bro. Whoa. Fuck it. Look at you, almost getting yourself killed for nothing again. Just keep playing point. Just play around our team. Bro, how am I going to one v one that lose you if I don't damage your boy? I'll give you a fucking forehead. Oh, yeah. Nah? Really close to and it was one. Not entirely sure that was a good idea. Yeah, Is that a damage orb? Uh, Medi, you're on like 80 health and you're damage orbing? Medi! Holy crap! Just healing him off the wall. Yeah! Except it bounced in. Ooh. Not a horrible fade, but again, you're still like behind on HP because of that previous damage orb. Holy nice crap! Service. You actually survived! Fucking love it. You shouldn't have, but it was a clutch fade. <laughs> oh dear. Let's keep on point. We got bungos. Maybe a puck. Where's my thousand view? Oh, fuck, dude. I wish. Took notes of previous words. You review to keep up God's work. I oh, know where John three thousand. I'm trying to remember what your uh, name vod would have been. Just uh, let me know about it. But thank you for the how many of those? Thirty bits. Can you all stop sending bits in like one increments? Make me have to go into Streamlabs and double check it. It's a ballsy ass fade. I trust my Zen. I don't even think Zen was there. He died by, while you were ulting, bro. He, he literally had to waddle all the way back. He had to air waddle all the way back. Thank you for the one bit. And again, I will kill you. Stop doing that. <laughs> Still trust him. Madness, you're a very trusting man. Very wholesome, trusting man. This is probably not the best time to be doing that. 
Rise low too. As far as I'm aware, like, Overwatch should be testing the bounds of trust. Why didn't you just fade? You actually had the audacity to damage orb instead of fade out of that. Except you won. I don't even understand. Fade doesn't do damage, drag. Oh, it does when I fade up and slap you! <sighs> I'm sorry, does Symmetra have AirPods? It's like the perfect, like, I'm leaving voice chat fucking skin. You literally, like, put your AirPods in and you can't hear anybody. Wow! Talk about a meta skin. Anyway, next fucking game from Metaniz. I swear to God, if I see you, oh, I won't lie, Meta, you're playing a lot better. But I wish you'd stop with the fucking damage or weird aggro shit. You get star points this way. This is true. I think I bring some seasoning to this man. Oh God, another spicy game. Another game bringing the spice. How's it going, everyone? I damage all one, mate. I hate, mate. Eh, I'll give you credit for that. I waited 10 minutes for this match. And all I did was lock in Reaper. That's basically what I'm seeing there. Just salt. That's a bit boring. <laughs> You're only bringing the salt. We protect Briggs. Come on, let's bring it together. I might have, I might have uh, muted the chat during this. This is a bit of an awkward situation. Oh, I'm sure it'll stop from here. So we on that, we on that Lucio. All right, Lucio time. Good luck, Azora. Didn't even notice chat TV. Yeah, no, that's understandable. Don't read it. I'm not reading it out loud, don't you worry. I'm a good person. Uh, you realize there is literally no one near you. And you're not near anyone. What is going on here? There, there is a Batiste in the back? What? Did I miss something? That went better. What's your tech line? Diva Zarya. She's any one you guys aren't going in anywhere. They are all running out like chimps.
That turned out so that turned out better than I expected it to, just purely because the enemy just kept randomly trickling in. But cool, I'll work with it. He just altered the turret. It appears that the guy altered the turret. Pissed no one was going in. I mean, if shit isn't gonna get killed, I guess you kinda have to do it, but. That is the third. Isn't that the third one that he's already gotten? That's fine, holding him was the player who was the only time. I mean, look, if you, if you have to do something, like, to get people going, at least, like, covering an area that actually, like, takes down, like, a, an enemy that will hold your progress. Plus being able to be on a line that will actually heal your teammates when they come through, it's fine. As long as people actually like do listen to the call and go for it, can you stop damage me? I would rather you held the orb there until you figured out what the fuck was going on. Because truthfully, shit's about to go awry, I can feel it. I feel it in my loins, bro. Also, that Batiste is still fucking your day up. So is that that's an enemy doom for sixty, right? Good kill. A bit unfortunate about that. Stop them. I'm not a fan of your damage orbing shenanigans, men in his mate. At least you oh that looked painful. There are too many situations where you actually can get caught out without like having the, the healing orb to sort out your teammates. And it's not helping you here. But there are too many situations where I'm actually like worried that you wasting your healing orb is going to fucking end up copping you guys down. Check Discord. I have food. It's chicken with a white wine based sauce. Too early in the day to make me hungry, and I hate you for it, but it looks lovely. No, but I'd like send help, man. I'm getting hungry. So you guys are aware, like I dodge breakfast most days so that I can stream without any stomach aches, and it's fucking murderous if anyone mentions food during the during the stream because I just get so fucking hungry too early. Just tell me your address and Papa John's on the way. We don't have Papa John's in Oz, bro. Also, I don't think I would tell anyone my address just because I have an actual fear of getting killed put in a SWAT raid. Did the boss here? I'm making it while I head to class before you head to class. Yeah, before you head to class. So Pizza rolls? I don't know, I can't eat anything before the stream. I would actually feel like. Ill, but yeah, and take it easy, True Blade. All the best, man. Perhaps a new methodology is required. <coughs> Just support the main role. Main role? You mean in this one? Well, generally. Above and who's the guy that said I don't know if I can do anymore? You should have faded, hell. bro. He just shotgunned you in the fucking skull. We should have got that. Like, seriously? seriously. Oof, there's the salt. Yeah, nah, support man, yeah. It's always funny when like one tank always blames the other. Let's get a move on. 
Just keep in mind, if you fire a damage orb or a fire strike at the beginning and you don't get more than 10 charge, it's high likelihood that the Zarya absorbed it and they got more value out of it than you did. <clears throat> but something to keep in mind. Define this. Like, when you say, I feel like this shouldn't be happening, like, you are definitely speaking a little too broadly and I don't know what you're talking about. Zarya can't absorb orb. Sorry? What do you mean, can't absorb orb? Sorry, on point. Turning back on Doofus might be a bad idea. What's up, Chris Velas? How you doing, mate? Rocky was probably the inconsistent five five since instead of ten. A little bit. Like a fading the high aggression instead. It was better in the previous game. But yeah, here it's just not happening. This will my ultimate ability is charging. I'm really confused about how like aggressive that Batiste is. Like, that guy should be getting punished eight times over and he's just not. He's sat in the shittest spots. Just like trying to be a DPS and it's just not fucking going on and I'm just really confused as to why. They are buffing us, so really. That's all good. Before I go back to this, can, who was the guy that said that Zarya can't absorb orb? Pretty sure that was changed late 2017. I went back and double checked. Yes. Because they had to nerf Moira's damage orb, like, being somewhat useful to make her an actual healer. And they made it so, yeah, it could charge Zarya. Like, everyone's adding Ender in the chat. Just tell, just promise me that this was a healing orb before this fight started. Okay, good. Thrown a bit early, though. It literally doesn't even stop to heal anyone during that particular like stage of the fight, and then because of this, you all just start getting clapped up. Faded way too late as well. Another healing all comes out. Doesn't get enough here because everyone gets split apart. Feels bad. <laughs> just adds him so. That's news to me. I've never seen it happen. To be fair, and uh, you are playing on like low elo on console, and I don't really think anyone that plays Zarya on console actually has the reactions to deal with that. So, yeah. That <laughs> donkey. Nice. I like it. That was a bit of an overspend by your team. Are you aware that you've been fragged the by their, like, Batiste on the high ground, like, DPS what, four no times now? We have a D.Va. D.Va, jump up to the Baptiste, please. Instead, you charge someone else. It's right, you didn't even say that in chat. Just kept it to yourself. Like, if you want David to go to Hargrave, man, you gotta tell him to do something. Oh, you are fucked. You are alone, and you are uh, fucked. The buff is 100% DPS, man. Probably. Did he just heal himself? Holy shit. That's the angriest I've ever had men in my life. The diamond life is not good for you, man. Clink. So, Madness, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I don't know what it is.
Because he's cute in my other game. I know the soul. Oh, that's tough. Team based online games aren't good for anyone. You might be onto something there. But yeah. I don't know what it is, man. But I feel like you're just hard in the paint to try and be aggressive with this. You play Rust. No, I don't. I've never seen that video, actually. It probably came up in an autoplay and I just clicked away from it. Hello, Magico. Also, Chaos King, check your DMs. I'll reply to you. Um, so, Medi, I need to understand why does it show it was fully watched? Autoplay. I probably just let it run. I have, yes, I have no like thing for Rust at all. I don't even know why it's there. Why is it even next now? Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Anyway. Matty, the aggression is getting a bit much. It's been ramping up lately, and I don't know like what's causing it, but over the past couple of VOD reviews, you've gotten more and more aggressive with it. Hang on. The, the whole thing about, like, your, like, recent sort of exploitations in, uh, in Ranked has really got to do with, like, I don't know, there's so many, there's so many instances where I just watch you play, or watch you play now, and I'm looking at you like, why are we not actually, like, doing the basics, you know, like, the simple things, the things you learn from the lessons, you know, like, popping out healing orbs more often, playing on a defensive angle, not like charging right through the middle of the fight, you know, like those sorts of simple things. I'm really confused here. Back to 3.3k. You, you'll get there, Azor. Don't worry about it. All in good time. But yeah, like, I'm watching I'm watching these games, right? And I'm just seeing, like, a... This is I opening how many mistakes I'm making that I know about. Exactly. Like, we're, we're, like, looking at it now, and I don't know if it's just, like, a, like, just a lack of sleep or just, like, a really just awkward, like, moment we're going through. But I definitely remember covering a lot of these things with you and you improving on these things, but we seem to be slipping back a little bit. And, like... At the very least, your mechanics are definitely improving, but there are definitely a lot of positioning and cooldown mistakes that are probably costing you a lot of fights that may end up costing you games. So I really want to see you work on that, and I really want to see that be, like, shored up a little bit. <sighs> but yeah. Thank you for your sellout queue, Mr. Medniz, and thank you for the video. Hope to see you again soon with some more good stuff. All right, next person on the list is CCY. CCY, you're up. CCY, let's go. UGB, how do I see my list again? Oh, the VOD list. So if you're in Discord and your account is linked, so, like, you actually have access to the thing. You have to make sure your account's linked to Discord. So, your Twitch and Discord have to be linked together. So, just before I start this up, I'm just going to... This guy's name is Shatter 2K5. 2K5? <laughs> anyway. So, by memory, let's see. This guy is Platinum. He's playing Tracer, and we're on King's Row. So if your Twitch is linked to Discord and you're subscribed, you can see the queue and you'll be able to know like how far in are you. If you have not seen your video on 
and you've sent me a, and you've definitely sent me one, please DM me and I will double check where your body is. Got another McCree vibe coming. No worries, man. I can't wait. But yeah, you'll be able to see it within the hour once you link your thing. I have, I'm updating the queue at the end of day today because I do normally update every two to three days. Anyway, let's go. Shout out 2K5. Man has to be aware now we're in 2K19. Also, his sound appears to be missing. How awkward. Alright, let's see what the, the tracer flank looks like. So I'm admiring the angle. I'm admiring that you're actually round back. I'm not admiring that you're doing mid-range damage and walking straight into the symmetra ball. At this range, you don't actually do enough, like, like decent damage to be like worthwhile like you aren't actually scary at all from up from there so i would recommend actually getting in a bit closer and like loading into the back of the head you had the perfect opportunity to do it without them knowing in the first place you just gave yourself away which is a bit of a problem i would be in your connections on discord like in the discord options but yeah so yeah, that entire like exchange is just purely awkward based off the fact that you were not like actually locked onto a target. That fire should be free as hell though. Oh, missed a lot of those shots, man. Where's his hang on. Gotta get his sense and DPI from this. DPI seven fifty, sensitivity two point eight. So that's like really low. Or at least low enough that he shouldn't be over flicking like this, but he seems to be doing that a lot. <clears throat> Which is strange to me, actually. You got a fair amount of ult charge there, but like the whole, your whole opening on that was just really awkward because you were just like, you were only a distraction. You weren't like purely getting the extra like mile that you could have from that. So I'm a bit sad on that, but let's see how we go. Is this what a colorblind option looks like, by the way? This is the first like, thing where it's been yeah just remember guys you have to actually be subscribed for that to happen anyway let's see what happened here this is colorblind okay cool it's interesting he just jumped out onto the turrets and died feels fucking bad but yeah you've definitely got the right idea about going around I just don't see why you're not like actually using that to pressure at close range to some people from behind. Cause like, like I said, most of these situations you're actually getting around them, but you're shooting past mid range. So you do like very minimal damage. <clears throat> oh, shooting that's not really worth anything right now. Cause it's either already up there or the fight's already over. In which case this fight is literally already over. So you didn't really contribute anything here. You were just kind of there. What is this route you're taking? If you were going to go straight through and fuck him up, you could have already. Team already did it for you. You can't jump up onto there. You're not high enough. Are you trying to take the high ground again as Tracer? I mean, this is nice to get in behind them, but you're not... You don't seem to be using it for that. You seem to be using it for everything else but that. Like I said, feels so weird. Like a ghost is going to pop out and just yell boo. I mean, that we'll see what happens when someone actually ends up subscribing or fucking donating. Just be glad no one's going to donate over a hundred because it'll deafen the shit out of all of us. Again, I don't know why you keep jumping in on these awkward angles and getting yourself killed. Like even with all this funky moving around shit, you're still going front to back in most situations, and it's not safe. Like, what are you aiming to gain from this? He's changed to Genji now. He's had enough for Tracer. I mean, I would get like. Everything that you were doing before, I would understand if you were playing Genji. But as Tracer, that shit doesn't fly. It doesn't do, it doesn't give you any damage, like, in create, it doesn't, like, benefit anything from there. Good landing. Good kill. Actually gets out with dash, too. Nice. That's what I would prefer to see. Rek, you probably have sounds muted. I can guarantee you, my friend, it is definitely not muted. I'm sure someone is going to test this in a moment, but I can tell you, it is not muted. If I turn my volume up anymore, I'm going to die when something actually happens. But yeah, please don't ever lead with dash unless it's a guaranteed kill. But at least in this case, you guys are snowballing straight in. So it's cool. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. This is like the most ELO heaven like kind of moment because it did not contribute very much at all this half. 
and you manage to get away with murder. So that's cool. That TP confused me since it's blue. Yeah, it's an enemy one, but yeah, there. Yeah. Someone told me yesterday that like the first team to attack is always red in Spectator, no matter what. So if I'm ever going to remember that, I've got to keep saying it out loud so I actually do do so. Replay is weird like that. Yeah, a little bit. Now, I'm not a fan of the old like frontline Genji approach, especially when you're standing this close. If you keep poking at range, it's not particularly bad. But yeah. Also, you're playing a little too low. Eh. Playing a little too aggressive against the Ash, you can dynamite you is a bit scary, but yeah. It appears you all have just let them walk onto the point without any actual pressure, and that really hurts me. You missed all those shurikens because you were aiming at the floor rather than aiming at like any sort of chest neck area. But then, yeah, using dash to get in without a actually guaranteeing a kill, big waste of time. So, yeah, that's a big flattening you cop there. Not surprised. There's a few too many instances of you just like trying to dash too early to get the kills. Like you lucked out in the previous, on the at the end of the first half because everyone was just dying right as you came in. It just happened to be that way. But now that like people are not dying initially to anything that's going on around them, and you're not actually putting enough poke down to actually guarantee the kill, you can really see the difference because you're just getting you're getting in there, you're getting stuck, and it's not giving you any benefit. Ouchie. You want to, are you not out for this? Hang on. So maybe I'm crazy, but I don't even know if you actually get nanoed here. It looks like you do. I'm just going to double check. It's extremely hard to tell if you get nano during fucking uh, Blade in Spectator because it doesn't properly show the effect. Oh, there we go. That's showing. That's showing, right? That's no nano? He's definitely a different color there, right? That That is that is even getting nanoed, right? It's so awkward when you stop talking. I'm trying not to, eh? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he is getting nanoed there. Without any actual knowledge of what's going on in that fight. This skin is the same color as Nano. You're telling me, right? When he pulls his blade out... Hang on. I'm just going to make sure of this chat. That's definitely not Nano. Because he does he does one slash the, the Mercy, which is fine. And then at the end of it, his blade's normal color again, right? Anazol does go on someone. This is what the only thing I hate about fucking thing. I can't tell who gets the who gets nano here. Cause there's also no sound, so I can't actually tell. But he is definitely glowing, right? I can't tell. This is how fucking uh, this is how much I hate soundless videos, man. Hello Bakura, welcome, mate. But yeah, he gets the slash dash on Mercy without any troubles, which is fine. Like they're out of place, but like, this is not the greatest set of kills you, like, could have really come away with here. Whether or not that's because of just target selection. But you came in completely blind to this fight as well, which is just strange to me. It has its own channel, Petri. It's in the sub area. You'll see it. Nanologo is going before he ults and changes rec. Nanologo is arguing. Wait, really? So it is. There it goes. Okay. So he's not even nanoed for this fight. How awkward. <laughs> I'm just getting absolutely debated by no sound and random glowing blue parts of Genji. But yeah, I knew that Anna wasn't even in range to it, like in a spot to hit him with it. Probably Ryan that got it. Probably. It's just awkward. Like, you have Nanoblade, you should probably use it in most situations. Like, that. Nanoblade is one of the greatest combos in the game just purely because it gives Genji so much freedom. So he stops doing that. <laughs> I 
again, I don't know why you dashed into that alone without any actual ability to kill anyone. There's no guarantee that you were going to kill anyone there as well. Like, wh why attempt that? Why attempt to go for that every single time? I'm not going to lie, without sound, I keep thinking nothing's happening in these games. Which is only partially true, because he actually misses the mark so hard here with that kill. It's almost, it is a guaranteed kill on Junkrat, because Junkrat's alone. He actually misses the, the kill opportunity there. They lose any sort of front foot they have, because he can't snowball. And, and even then, like, all these cooldowns could have been spent elsewhere. Two kills. Misses the slash on Mercy, gets it anyway. C9s, feels bad, man. Oh, dear. He missed a lot of fucking skills there. And then to top it off, he even spent the blade and c 9 and wasted it again. That really hurts to watch. Did he seriously play with that? No, it's a replay. So uh, he probably recorded this, the replay without sound on at all. Whether to preserve frames or whether because he was being an absolute crazy person during his recording and didn't want me to hear it. But yeah, you're getting absolutely clapped by that by that McCree. In fact, I don't think you've ever actually like gotten past a hitscan player at all. Like that different dick guy has actually completely annihilated you at every turn. As Ash and as McCree. Yeah, now you all have no alts. They have two. They have a like positional advantage. They have the point, and you're not even aware. Dude, what is your awareness here? Like, I get you're trying to go for the flank in the back, but you're just spending all this, like, time and effort to not get anything done. Another fucking dash for nothing. Doesn't even kill the standstill junk rat. Bruh! Holy hell. This is not the kind of Genji player I want to see. This is not the kind of flanker player I want. I, I, all these flanks that you're attempting here are just so... Ugh. Here we go. The old defend you again. Let's see how we go. He annihilated you with two different dicks. That's just uncool, bro. He got the dead eye kill at least. I mean, sure, but meh. This frontline Genji shit, like, if you're too obvious, you're going to get caught out. You're standing in front of the tank line. Like, what are you expecting to happen here? Because I feel like you have this king of the world complex where you're like thinking that you're just going to absolutely survive and BM in front of the enemy. And it's like, well, I have some bad news for you, chief. It ain't going well. Like they're onto you and they know that you're a freak target. They're just fucking, they're like pressuring you so hard. I probably would have, I probably would have switched off, my, uh, off of Genji personally and just stuck with like a, slightly either like something like reaper so that if they ran in you would actually not have this much trouble but you're not gonna have like particularly good execution in this uh in this state of the game right now just purely because they are playing as a unit and you're getting your head shot off no sound makes me resident sleeper hey man i'm trying to keep it interesting i'm trying john i'm trying you gotta give me some credit. Some love. You gotta give me the love. Yeah, another lost point for nothing. I, I won't lie, though. At least it was a little better than the first like the first time they were pushing for the point, because at least then you did just let him walk on this time. Ty, your voice makes everything better. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Thank you. Do or do not, there is no try. Oh, yeah? Really? Really? The stream goes silent, it's like there's no stream at all. Hey! I am the stream, goddammit. You come here for me, not for the Overwatch game sounds. C come here and support me the right way. <laughs> in silence or in health. Ugh. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Never mind. Far enough back that you don't have to care about them engaging onto you. Again, no. No players available to actually save face, and, uh... 
Oh, this is gonna get awkward. Well, at least you finally got a right click dash kill, but again, it was a wasted trade, and now they're gonna get onto your point without too much trouble. Who's that guy in the gold border chat? He comes the wasty blade. I was worried he was going to use it then. Eh? I'm going to go play a song on my Spotify and make this less awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Is he going to go for it again? No. <laughs> He's left it this time. He's like, nah, I'm not risking it again. I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'm going to go back. <laughs> so he goes for the double jump without actually landing on the floor first. And he falls short, realizes it too late. And that's it. Doesn't even go for the dash. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dearie me. Oh, wait, sorry. Didn't mean to hit that. That is his worst enemy right there. Holy shit. All it took, guys, is one ledge. Just made you night. You're welcome. Here we go. Is he going to make up for it with the big dick slice? Yeah, that's not bad. He looks at that thing like, nah, not this time. <laughs> yeah, he actually, like, you see him look at the thing. He's like, do I go for the climb again? Nah, not doing it. I'm saving face, chat. That's what he's telling me. He's like, if I, if I was going to send this to Rec 9, do I want to be in that position? And the answer is obviously no. That's the that's the answer you're looking for, chat. You don't want to be in that position. Not now, not ever. Certainly not in the near future. I'm just going to move this back a bit so I don't need it again. There we go. All right. I was kind of hoping you'd go again. <laughs> we go again. Give it the real XQC treatment and just fall into the pit again. Be good. There you go. You get music from me, chat. Prepping for the, uh, prepping for the big moment where he runs in and kills himself again. Is that a bastion? Uh, the, well, that was a bastion. Literally just sat there and just ate three left clicks for no reason. Cool. Kill the Moira? Or the Anna? Well, I'm a bit mad that you wasted your dash to get into the fight in the first place and almost got killed for it, but at least you made up for it by actually killing two people. So you know what? Not bad. It was a Bastion. Yeah, yeah it was definitely a Bastion. Every time you have to ask whether you're making the right choice in game, imagine Rick popping up over to show, to show you the way. No, the best... We had this discussion yesterday about... Just, uh, like, when people are trying to record VODs for me, they always end up playing really good and the games are all stomps. And I go, just always, just always pretend that I'm there, staring you down, making you play better. That will definitely be the way to go. There's no other way around it. The fuck, what is this shit? <laughs> nice. I like sending in my bad games. I do it for the content. I mean, honestly though, like you don't really need to send in for the content. Like if your actual like purpose is to send games in for the content, I'd rather you didn't just purely because there are actually still people sending in that want to learn and like spending that extra time. Oh, please actually hit the shot. There are actually people that do want like the learning process more than anyone would ever want the content. And the best part about it is that, it, oh, come on, man, you can't miss that. The cops are right in front of you. You would have even been better off left-clicking him. Right on the fucking skull. But yeah, like... Hey, I'll my bad ones. Those are my good ones. I mean, like, it's good to send in games that, like, you played bad in. Don't get me wrong. But I don't want you to, like, purely send games in just for the content. That's the point I'm getting at. If you, like, if you know the game was bad and you know, like, what you can learn from it yourself and you don't need me to, like, actually tell you stuff, then don't send it. Jeez, the frontlining Genji strikes again, gets absolutely flattened. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm really, really awkward about like what you're trying to do with these fights. <sighs> so, let's, let's see if we can pull off an ulti again and not get completely clapped up. Let's see what we've got. Huh? 
you watch that Hoshizora video. Which one? There you go. That was an easy kill. Best games are the ones where you don't know why you lost. Definitely. Because that gives me the opportunity to not only score you, but have a good time. Did you just try to air dash and missed it? Oh, oh no. The wall. Oh, we actually still managed just to get past him. Okay. Those are two picks you wanted, so that's not so bad. That's because he has the best rage moments. I mean, look, I've definitely seen some shit. I just, the only thing I wish, like, for X, like, if I, if I could watch XQC, right? The only thing I would want to, like, see more so is, like, I wish I could understand him sometimes. Your rage is about Mercy Super Jump. I think I'm more awkward about the fact that it's a Hoshizora video. Because that would imply that Hoshizora and XQC both played in the same rank, and that definitely doesn't seem correct. Oh, wow, you actually survived that? He's skinny Tyler 1. True. I mean, I definitely, yeah, I definitely said that ages ago. He was like, the Overwatch's answer to Tyler 1. Better dash this time. Have to survive, have to get the blade. This is where it's going to get interesting. If he actually makes this play, they say he should be targeting the tank just so he can actually get that on. Looks like this might be happening, except he missed like three people. Dude, get the slash on! Deflect him! Deflect him! Deflect him! Deflect him! Oh, you should have done it earlier so he was actually going to get knocked away. You survived that for so long and you almost threw. Oh, God, it's actually going to make it. And you almost dashed off the point. Dude, I was so fucking nervous that he was about to do that. Hello, Leapstrom. This is Platt. It was Platt. It's finished now. Good win. Could have been better, but holy hell, this was pretty painful to watch. Oh. Look, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like sit here and rag on you the entire like for the next five minutes about like how bad that game was, CCY, but I'm going to tell you straight up, I really, really don't ever want to see you trying to frontline as Genji ever again. I don't ever want to see you trying to shoot people at long range as Tracer ever again. Those are the two basic things you should start with. That's, that's the start. The next thing, I really, really, really need you when you're playing Genji to never, ever lead with Dash. I want you to like, Properly poke a target down, then go for the committal kill with, like, dash, melee, right-click. The end. <laughs> Tracer X Widow goes too far. Sniper Tracer? No, don't do that. Unless he's ulting. Unless you're definitely ulting, in which case you get that dash, man. You get that slash dash action. But I didn't see that often enough to make me say, yeah, cool. I've only saw it, like, once or twice, and it wasn't particularly great. So, for next time, keep that in mind. 900 IQ life. Love it, chat. Uh, but yeah, definitely could have been better. Definitely could have been better. There's a lot of like consistency issues you have around, around returning to fights as well. Please just keep in mind that there is no like, there's no like cut and dry answer about trying to, about how to approach a fight. But I will tell you this now, what you did in the situations where you were like trying to go from the front to the back or when you were trying to like properly like when you're trying to like dart in and like expecting to survive front on just because you're with the tank you're actually like that far ahead it's not safe don't do it don't ever waste it please it will make me feel a lot better if you do not waste this uh, waste those opportunities but yeah otherwise like skill like there is some like potential there but i would rather you just keep it consistent thank you ccy for submitting so vibes see another one from me in the future more Okay, Petricor is the next person. Petricor. I'm just going to get rid of this shit because I want it to go away. That should be the right video. Yeah, perfect. So this one's at midday and the other one's at 6 a.m. 5 a.m. It's a bit loud. Alright, so. It is not my preference to see them others personally, but I will see them Petricor, Platinum. Hero, Moira, map, Rialto? It's Rialto, yeah. We have sound, lads. A lot of Moira VODs today. Dude, support, supports definitely get, like, a lot of VODs in generally. 
I'd honestly love to see more tank bots personally, but I'd rather they actually be your main role, so don't fuck around with it. Hope you guys weren't enjoying your sleep too much. We have sound again. Woohoo! Get loud, four, chat! Three, two, you got mine? Yeah, I got yours, one. bro. I told you that. You don't want to see me tank? Definitely not. I said main role at Medinis, not like 15th role. Alright. Good start. Lots of healing being churned out. <coughs> What's your other healer? Beast. Right. I, thought that, I, was, I had a feeling that was your thing on there. That guy's asleep, it's fine, leave him there. Actually uses walls effectively for bounces, I like it. Still not really fathoming that that's your sense in DPI. For real. For real, Petri. People with like, such high DPIs, I didn't even know that would actually be an existing factor in this game. I think I'm a damage main, but I mean, that's cool. 4 cents, 7,200 DPI. I've had this conversation with a few other people before, dude. It's still way too high, but I mean, it looks like you're actually managing with the death space you have. So I'll give you a bit of credit. Is that a Sigma 1v1? Oh my god. Oh, this is just silliness fucking amplified. Yeah, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for that damage orb, because fuck watching a Sigma 1v1, dude. It's just plain silly. <laughs> it's just silly. Everything about that is just plain silly. You still have like 16,000 DPI in default sense. How the fuck did you even like aim? You'd sneeze and you'd do like eight 360s. How is that possible? It wasn't until Sigma got healed. Fucking right, dude. Fuck Sigma 1v1s. Dude, that McCree just went balls deep. Silly of him. Honestly, though, I don't see you guys losing the. Oh! That is not the reaction I wanted to see. Did you just kill yourself? You almost killed yourself. You actually ran straight back into the fucking that ult after that too. Dude. You were so safe. And then suddenly like every... Like you got hit by one thing in the back. You freak out. You're ulti nothing. And then you walk back into the, uh, the Sigma ult and almost die. That's got to be changed. What's wrong with two old guys chucking balls at each other? I don't know, man. I got scared. Look, look, remember the number one rule is don't panic. Fortunately, I pay for my internet now, and I drop my DPI and sense considerably. Fortunately, I pay for my internet now. What the fuck has that got to do with? Oh, never mind. Playing on Wi-Fi and dealing with insane. Like, never mind. I get it now. I was like, what did that have to do with your sense of DPI? Then I realized there's another line. What? What is that melody? Oh. You know, given his origin story is what it is, I'm really surprised at how well adjusted Sigma sounds in game, which is really strange to me. <laughs> Yay, mate, died! <laughs> is that irrational hate I'm smelling over there? <laughs> Wi-Fi is just garbage in general. I, I don't recommend anyone ever play a competitive game on Wi-Fi, ever. Literally, ever. Hell, don't even play Minecraft on fucking... Um, I, I see that attempt for the kill. I, I, I raid it. You tried, but it wasn't worth it. Irrational. Hello, Darigard. How you doing, mate? Me and May Man get silently offended. Dude, there's a couple of May Mains in the chat, and they're not having good times. <laughs> Let May reload him. <laughs> not again, Chaos, really? How slow did we cut these the office that is? No, that's just fucking unfortunate. Well, the May ult. Good all, bro. Oh. oh, almost got away with it, but yeah. Oh wait, what? The C9? Uh, okay. Why does replay always show your team as the enemy team? No, what it does, if your team is the first to attack, it's always red. So if the team, whatever team is first to attack, it's always red. No matter what team is the enemy team. It doesn't actually believe in, like, people. It just says, hey, this is the replay and you can get everyone. That's cool. Deal with it. Have fun. IDK what happened there, Lamar. Look, just a few few hundred poggers in the chat will sort us for the day. But, yeah, I don't really get what changed there. 
but it's cool. I rate it. One. Attackers incoming. It's a good Z9. Stop the payload. Maybe he's not 1600 sensor. That's a, definitely a lot cleaner. You don't have an interact key. You might want to fix that. Can't use the sim telly without an interact key, bro. Better be a little bit more aware of damage coming in, especially damage that's going to hit you. For the most part, you're doing okay. So that's the third time you've been hit by a fire strike. Yeah, the only problem is you're standing a bit close, and you keep getting hit by things. Ugh. Like you don't, you have to not be worried about giving up the ground you've given right now, just purely because your tanks are missing. So, I have to fade across. I don't think you're gonna make it out of this. Never mind. That's a possibility. Just don't re -peak. Use the fade well. Uh, uh, that did make it before. Good turn. Good heal. Good ult. Oh, we're healing all through this if we can get on. Do it, bro. Throw the orb. It's a very late healing orb. I actually survived that, I'm surprised. Wow, he died. Okay, cool. Free kill. Nice work. In a fight like that, like you definitely want to be using the orb on CD there, because like they were like your tanks were gonna get pressured either way, and if you keep them alive the entire time and they can go aggressive, that's an instant win. So yeah, just don't be afraid of using it in a situation like that, because the fight is in progress and it is happening. You should be using it. It wasn't like in Medna's situation in the previous game where like he literally had no one else that was like being fought there; they were just getting very lightly poked. If a fight is actually in progress and there are people literally going nose to nose, you should be fucking helping them. It's 99% of the time it gives you good benefits. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, what does he say again? Someone told me what he says yesterday when he's on the enemy team, but I don't, I don't hear it. I hear the what is that melody one, but I don't hear any other one. Get into position. Is it Dutch? It's not in English? Oh, it's in Dutch. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Yeah. In trouble now. Being a little bit too far forward for that was a bit scary, but at least you weren't like caught up in the somber from that. Oh no, the stun kill! I want a Scottish hero, Blizz, please. What would the Scottish hero be? Make a Scottish hero for us, Azora. Give me, give me some ideas. A lumberjack? Is that a little too stereotypical, or? <laughs> this weapon be bad vibes? That's just racist. That guy who plays a bagpipe. Never mind. If Azora says it, it's okay, I guess. I mean, you probably would play bagpipes for the dance, right? The dance would be you'd have to be playing bagpipes. There's no way around. I want the penguin tank. Yeah, that's not happening. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of the DPS he ult here. I'm not a fan of where everyone's positioned for this either, but you know, this is the way it is. Oh, never mind. You were behind the fortify. Stay safe. Stay hidden. Don't get caught by that ulti. Cool. Cool. What is that melody? I need to recharge. <laughs> Jetpack cap. I gotta give you credit for your all placements, they're actually pretty solid. 
I think just positioning is a little too aggro on some occasions, just because you know they have a Sombra. You should be much, much safer, like, in most situations there. At least you getting cleaned up isn't, like, the worst part about it here, but it's cool. I'm not dead yet. Like, your team still manages to clean up on your behalf there, but, like, if you wanted to be more active and useful in this fight, I would recommend at least being hidden somewhere. Like, use some cover. Like, you could be inside here while the team's on the bridge if you knew that Sombra was going to come back with ult. See you looking for it. <clears throat> Fade. I don't see this going very well for you guys though. Honestly, I would probably hold on to the ult here. Yes, I probably would hold on to the ult here just because if you, even if you guys lose this fight, you would actually be. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Okay, while the 3k was nice, I wish you saved your ulti just purely because they have to make it all the way to the second point ending here to do this, and if you if you pulled an ulti, they wouldn't have a single ulti here and you'd be able to actually like get your team in to fight them. This would be a very good win here. <clears throat> and by the looks of things, it uh, definitely does not seem to be the case here. Rogando last loose. We lost every chat. I'm going to forget. Yeah, that's a rip. That's such a rip. If you had that ulti and everyone was there, you could have definitely pressured them harder on the point and you would have had much more to work with. That's so fucking saddening. Avocados are useless. Yeah, it's probably about that. When faced with a setback. We must challenge our assumptions. That's a bit, that was very unfortunate. It was very unfortunate, Jet. But you're a KMN, thank you for following. Yeah, but how? <clears throat> Those inputs are segregated from the game. They're not made to be like as part of the replay client for a reason. That was stupid. Alt usage is like the only thing you need to work on right now, dude, because this is some very sad shit I'm seeing now. Everything was pretty dandy until the ultimate, man. Having your ulti here would have been beneficial because you wouldn't have to be stuck in the middle of the fight like this. Deep. And here we go. Overtime again. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> I know, thanks there. You cool, bruh. Two, one. Attackers incoming. Overtime wouldn't even matter, Zora, because it's straight payload. It'd be one minute anyway. Best part is this is literally where it ends up at. <coughs> Better 
salty this time. <coughs> that was the strangest uplink I've ever seen for no reason. Alright. Four, three, two, one. We out. Observe the barrier. Clutch save. Those are the kind of fights that Mora enjoys, because if you get, like, decent spacing and don't get clapped, you immediately just win. Because you can just get shitloads of healing and get straight into an ult. Is there a second video you sent me? Yes, there is. Alright, let's see here. Second game. <clears throat> Oh god. Okay. Oasis as Reaper. This will be interesting. Hey. Hey. Who's ready for some shit? <clears throat> Four minutes, 80 meters distance. Yeah, man. Couldn't possibly lose it, right? Right? Be fine. I'm dizzy already. Same, bro. <clears throat> By the way, by default, you should probably switch your crosshair to not bloom so that you can actually aim it correctly. Please don't use this. Please don't use it. Just, just cancel it. Cancel it! There's no benefit to that! I mean, it's nice that they didn't even, they're not even aware you're there. But yeah, you don't want to use teleport unless it's to gain high ground. And even then, most situations, you won't get benefit at all. <clears throat> it's very, like, obvious. Very well worked. I'm sorry. This guy actually fragging his reaper? What the fuck? Rip. <laughs> the guy's just staring you down. <laughs> I feel like there was a sorry there. Oh, did your teammate just teabag you? Fucking feels bad, man. This Jesus. <clears throat> I hope you're aware, like, you're, like, Restand time is really fucking slow with that teleport as well. It's not worth it. Please don't say hi. Please don't give away that you're there. Sorry, is this guy actually like fragging as Reaper? Jesus. Please don't do this. <clears throat> The fact that you didn't get shot in the back of the head there is wondrous. Never mind, you did. This is a big mistake. This is a gigantic mistake. Please don't ever do that again. I would like, fully be like, yeah, he's totally a smurf, until he fucking does that. Rec, what do when Plat team won't even focus on Frozen Winston walled off from his team? Ah, uh, then you kill him yourself. Shit has to die, bro. <clears throat> Sorry, man, like... That was unfortunate, just given the spot you were in, but dude, like, fragging? What rank is this? Platinum? <coughs> dude, actually, frags are right as young Reaper. See, I don't mind, like, using it like this to gain, like, ground around, like, objective flanks, etc., like, going for high ground stuff. Using it, like, in front of other people is a big mistake. Please stop saying hi before you go in. And please stop giving away that you're actually trying to kill people front on you. And not the greatest use of ulti, because you probably could, still could have killed him without that. But, yeah. <clears throat> Taking the objective. I would rather you stop jumping just purely because in a lot of situations you're making yourself a very easy target to kill. <clears throat> nice Reaper says hi. There's no such thing as a nice Reaper. Dude just says hey then clicks them. It's like it's like the weirdest BM I've ever seen. 
and Winston teabags. Yeah, the Winston teabagging part I was a little bit unsold on, but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, the ulti wasn't very good just purely because it did not actually net you any specific, um, like, sort of win from that. But yeah. It's gone. Let it ride. Mid range, you're not going to do any damage. You wasted fade! You wasted fade! All you had to do was wraith into the like the side area and he wouldn't have killed you and you would have been okay to keep going as you were. Dude. Try that again. But yeah, more often than not, jumping is not a very good idea. We had this discussion yesterday, but the basic of it is like it's just it makes it easier for you to get killed because a, you're not hitting them every single time while you're in the air, jumping around them, and plus, you're very telegraphed while you're in the air. That's a rip. <coughs> Peeling away from that kill initially might have been a big downfall there. I feel bad for killing them when they don't know it, so I say hi. That's just strange. Actually inting somewhat. But yeah, don't feel bad. These are video game pixels. No one actually dies here, regardless of what American uh, media outlets believe. Video games don't cause violence, Jim. Don't do it! I don't think you need to do that. But, yeah. Please don't do that. I really wish you stop doing that. Then we'll get over and join Rex Community and find out why Reaper owns them constantly. Yes! He just uses old on cooldown. I say, were you trying to teleport somewhere you shouldn't have? Such a bad idea! Really wish you'd stop using that teleport, it's so bad. I totally don't mind like the short usage of the of the Wraith Walk, but you gotta be mindful of when it's safe to use it, because you're not getting a lot of great like value out of it on some occasions, especially when there's a McCree, that's high nooning, just a thought. The aim is actually strangely good for being on four, four sets with 7,200 dpi there. Should have told them I learned this from Sensei Rack, this is okay, we'll figure this out in the future. But yeah, I can't even understand this with your fucking sense of DPI, it's just fucking, it's just fragging. Yeah dude, that's his actual sense of DPI. Stop teleporting. I can only guarantee that, like, Petri would suffer immensely on any long range character, but on characters like Reaper, you should have done a standard reload there, honestly, because uh, you would have needed the fade to get out, but holy hell, if you aren't fragging right now, kill the mini, good. I don't recommend doing this against a McCree. What are you doing? Just shoot the Reinhardt in the face! Oh, please don't do that again. Ever. Never do that again. Just shoot the Reinhardt in the face. It heals you. Please. This is the only sort of way I would let you use this ability. Any other time, no. Also, it was a very bad place to teleport to because you can get bumped off from there. Completely land on head. See, in that situation, I would rather you just never front me. Stop doing that! What are you doing? How do you survive that? Don't think he knows tanks are health packs. No, he's not aware of that. But yeah, dead set. Every tank is afraid of Reaper just because of all the damage you fucking do, dude. Holy crap, that actually worked out in your favor. Because there were two people there. If there weren't two people there afterwards, man. Holy shit. He actually still lived from that too. Don't you do that! I will... Fuck! I will newspaper you so hard. Did, no! Bad! Stop it! Please stop trying to face check the fucking McCree. He's the only person you shouldn't be face checking. Unless you know his stun is down. How has he not been flashing it oh, The McCree is just not aware of him, dude. He's dead again. What is that melody? The sound of Reaper cracking heads, that's what the fucking melody is, man. Oh, no. 
Not even melee, just fucking shotgun. Always shotgun. And that's the main reason you're gonna die in most games is Reaper. Is McCree. Wreck threatens you with rolled up newspaper ASMR. Don't act like you enjoy it, it just gets creepy. <laughs> probably want to get onto the point a little bit faster than what you're doing right now because a lot of people are dying when they shouldn't be and you could be like definitely aiding them DPS wise just don't ulti please whatever you do do not ulti here <coughs> okay good news he didn't waste his ulti <coughs> I swear I'm just dying here <coughs> sorry <coughs> I'm okay chat I'm okay You feel carried? Good to know. I thought for a second he was going to actually try and teleport behind them, then I was about to lose it. Don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, good. So worried he was actually going to fucking try and ulti right there in the center of the point. Oh no, not again! That was such a, that was the worst time in the universe to ulti. <clears throat> like, literally, all the utility had to be wasted first before you could go for that, and you just did it straight into all of them, including the Mora ult. Why is he screeching? Because he has a stupidly high sensitivity. <laughs> and it sounds like he's on some sort of like adrenaline high because he's like ready for it. He's ready to kill. He's ready to kill, chat. He's ready to teleport and make my fucking brain hurt too. Look what you're teleporting to. How are you not dead? How are people not noticing that and just actually like not clapping you up? Also, why are you keep running in without a tank? It was funny the first three times because you were actually still fragging, but you know what? Now I'm just nervous. Again? I keep saying hide when you're behind him. Right? Is this a smurf? I feel like I've been had. I feel like this guy is actually smurfing and he's actually trying to like actually like ruin my brains. If I say actually one more time, I'm gonna die. Kind Reaper says hi. <laughs> I need an emote of like a Reaper with like a happy face waving. Petri, it's time for you to be honest with me. Are you smurfing? Never mind. I saw that that fade. You're definitely not smurfing. Dude, your sensitivity is so high, it's making my brain hurt. I need to see your death space, bro. You must have like the tiniest fucking like square for death space, and you're trying to move your wrist like in its tiny like tiny ways as best you can and you're doing like all this shit and it's making you shake everywhere and it's fucking crazy holy shit wow kind of like he's on crack <laughs> maybe oh oh <clears throat> <sighs> Alright, you said he was tired, but he probably drank three Red Bulls. I mean, dude, this is a game that was recorded at 5 fucking a.m. The guy is probably overburning so hard it's going crazy. He's just like, yeah, 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 I'm going to shoot everything. It's going crazy. What am I checking my DMs for? <laughs> this is about as good as it gets for now. You guys can have this uh, in, in honor of uh, your boy Petri. There you go. The, the kind reaper that murder that says hi before he murders you. He drank three Red Bulls with five hour energy in it and power with Adderall. Ugh. That's ruinous. Absolutely ruinous. All right, so let's talk about the actual shit going on. Alt management on both characters needs a fucking look. That's like everything else you did with both of these characters was actually really, really good. But then the moment you had your ultimate, it was just really awkward. Don't say hi before you murder them. This guy knows. He knows. <laughs> but yeah. 
the I, the first and foremost thing, man, the ultis just you need to be much more conservative with them, and you got to be aware of when's a good time to use them. Like as Mora, you just spent them at really awkward occasions. And there were times where, like, fights could have been won after the fact. Like, a little bit of forward thinking would have saved you a lot of trouble. And it probably would have won you that Rialto game almost instantly. Just because purely, all you had to do was wait. They had no ulties. Forced the fight afterwards. Easy peasy. Then, yeah, Reaper, you just used the ulti off cooldown. You were like, fuck it. There are people around me. Let's hit it. And that wasn't even that bad, right? Like, that wasn't even that bad personally. But you didn't even need it. Like, that ulti could have been used to literally just drop bear into the middle of five of them and just ulti and scare the shit out of them. That on its own would have worked. Now, the big problem with Reaper. Please stop using your teleport. It's so fucking bad as an ability. Please. Only use it to actually reposition yourself. Don't use it to get anywhere where anyone can see you. Just use it to go from, like, a, a low ground to a high ground spot. Or, like coming out of base from one end to another that isn't anywhere near a choke point please just you will do yourself so much so much more if you don't get yourself caught out like this over and over again uh wraith walk usage was actually all right however please pay attention to other people's cooldowns when you're using wraith walk getting stunned up or clapped by high noon in general after that was a big mistake please keep an eye out Oh, and all those solid play, dude. Definitely, uh, I definitely see a rise in your future. So keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Who's next? Fucking classy turtles. Wait, why do you have two VODs in the kit? Looks like I'm doing both of them now. Fuck it. Classy turtles, you're up. Your defenses. Select your Sound is horrible. It just says for Rex eyes only and there's oohs in it. I hate it. Ew. That guy sung and he burped. Yep, silver gameplay oh, chat. You so ready for this? Why is everybody so quiet there today? Like, no obligation what happened to my headphones? Like, I can't hear you. people. Oh, Sigma! Yeah. Bro, what is your fucking... What is the quality? We're gonna win. I'm a god healer, so, you know, that's why I'm in silver. Almost gold. <laughs> 60 frames per hour. This could be a Sigma VOD if we can actually see it. Stick with me if you want heal. Nobody can hear me besides you. Nope. Is this a veto? I hope not. Is this visible to anyone else? This is really fuzzy to me. Also, the sound is horrible. The next one is better. All right. You know what? I'm going to veto this one. I'm going to go to the other one and pray that it's actually got decent quality because this is actually murder. Of course, it's on 2CP. And look at this title. What the fuck? Are you trying to, like, hurt me? Oh my god, the skin. What is this skin? What the third eye fuck is this skin? What is his hair? You know what? I don't even want to know what's going on in this game. Hello, Softest Blanket. Welcome. Also, if I see another OO in the chat, you're bad. Okay, I'm mad. I played in the scrim. It's supposed to be 3 with 3k average. They are two grandmasters and a platinum. Uh, that definitely sounds like an average. Not a good average, but an average nonetheless. So, you know what? I need to check something about Sigma. I've just, there's only one thing, one detail I've actually realized. You're all banned. Every single one of you. You're all banned. Every single one of you is banned. $300 fine or banned. Pick one, chat. Pick one. Shit. Where's Haas? Can someone get Haas? We need, we need to kill people. Oh, they're an area effect. Okay, cool. Now I know. 
I would never recommend walking past the way you just did there, just purely because that part was going to hurt. But as long as you stick that barrier in front of you as you attempt to go for this, it's not really too much of a problem. Where is your barrier? Put the barrier out, bro. Yeah, there you go. Not gonna lie, the fact that you can keep like moving the barrier in and out of a fight when you're doing it. Classic, what is your FPS? Classic, I think you and Medinis need to have a fucking chat. Hang on a moment. Uh, Medinis, those people, like, are they not like, fully banned, are they? I only meant to delete those messages. Did they all opt to ban? Is that what happened? Did they all opt to get banned? Did everyone opt for a ban? No, I'm banning him. I'm banning him. Don't, don't leave it there forever. Just delete. Hang on. Just, yeah, just remove him. Chaos, you go and get these hands another time. But yeah. Classy. Wait, was Classy one of the people that was banned? As nice as these titles are, and as much as they're tilting for me, I can't watch this video. I really can't. Can you please... <clears throat> can the two of you please have a chat after this? Medinis, I need you to help the guy out. This this frame rate is absolutely atrocious. I don't know what it is, but... <sighs> it's got to be something in his settings. Did you actually send me your settings last time, dude? I, actually, I swear I asked you for them. Did you actually end up sending them to me? Hang on. Where are we? That's right. He said it was just a computer was under stress. See, I believed that the first time, but now we hear I can't read shit. This is actually just too painful. I'm sorry, man. This is way too, way too static, like way too much going on here. And I was stoked for some fucking Sigma. I'm going to be honest with you. I was ready for it. I can't believe I got timed out. You deserved it. No uwu in the chat. $300 to uwu or nothing. Nothing. You will get, you will get the pain otherwise. Now, I'm sorry, classy, but yeah, can't deal with it. It's too much pain. It is just too much pain to deal with. Alright. Next person. Sigma for next Q. I will be ready for it. I'm ready. I just returned. What are the frames like? Ah, abysmal, unfortunately. Anyway, next uh <clears throat> next person is Emily. It's in my DMs. There's a Q. Anyway, Emily. Emily Diamond DPS. All right. Is this a May Main? It's a May Main. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Brace yourselves, chat. It's a May Main. So, yeah. How many... How many? We have a couple of May players in the chat right now, don't we? I'm going to roast with you. You sit your ass down, son. <clears throat> All right. So, this is a Diamond level May player. And we're on Rialto. Oh boy. What's a console, my man? That's tough. Fuck no, my man, Rose. You're all in trouble now. Alright. Let's see what we got. Half decent poke to start off with. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. You know what? I'm going to pretend I did not see that. I didn't even... I don't I don't even want... Like, the wall was just... Uh, the wall was on nothing. It was literally facing... Like, it was a vertical wall on nothing. Oh, dear. Still haven't used Cryo to bail yourself out yet either, which is interesting. Is this from a scrim? That's what I need to figure out. Is this from a scrim? Don't 
doesn't say anything about this being a scrim, so I'm just... Wait, what exactly is going on here? Hang on. I swear I'm seeing, like, you guys are all coming up, and then suddenly you all just get, like, completely rolled on. Yeah. There Zarya actually runs into you. You don't react fast enough to their, like, Mae running in as well. You guys hold the corner, like, hella scarce-like, and you get smashed. Fuck it hell. This is gonna be scary. I haven't seen anyone, I haven't seen an actual attempt for it here. We're switching to the McCree. But you and McCree just switch places now, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, the McCree, okay, McCree went Hanzo and you went McCree, alright. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, it didn't last very long. Definitely a better aim from the back, though. Is there an audio delay? There is an audio delay. Fuck me. I'm not having very good luck with videos today, are we? Uh, Emily, when you're watching this, I recommend you check your settings and just uh, fix that audio delay because it's very painful. I'm just going to mute it for now just to make it life easier. And if I have to like listen for an audio cue later on, I'll deal with it because I can't deal with fucking audio delays. They're horrible. They're horrible. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. So the attempted flank out. Well, at least you got to kill after the fact, but yeah. Stop. Having another character that can eat your entire, like, projectile runs a bit sad. Way too late with the alt attempt, though. I get you were trying to flank, but just, like, after that point, you're just stuck. Yeah, this is Diamond. <clears throat> I'm glad this is one of the first DPS mains I've seen in a while that isn't jumping all the time, so this is a good start. Aim could certainly use a little bit of work, but I think you guys are just getting snowballed on too hard for me to actually be able to tell you what's going on right now. Look at you two being all cute and love birdie in my chat. <clears throat> Is it what's better, chat? Out of sync, out of sync sounds or uh, no sound at all? Uh, I don't agree with ulting on this angle just purely because there was a high chance you were going to get clapped at close range there, but at least it turned out with you killing someone, so that's not so bad. Though I will admit, it definitely looked like an overspend of ults there. A lot of people use theirs when it wasn't entirely necessary, and I think you having a back, like a better back play position would be much more helpful to use an ulti for next time, but it's fine. <clears throat> No sound better, that's my opinion. Yeah, good. I'm glad everyone agrees with me. Except for Petri. Unfortunate Petri. You get the axe instead. McTink. Honestly, with the with the rate of fire that McCree has these days, Fan the Hammer is almost fucking useless. Like, unless it's literally on a close range target that needs to die instantaneously, there is almost no point in using um, right click now. Just purely because even with two left clicks prior to stunning something, it's actually worthwhile. And even against the shield, in most cases, like, <clears throat> the shield damage that you would get outright is better in the long run. Eating way too many skill shots. Like, a lot of that stuff isn't even targeted at you. are just running onto, like, a bunch of shots. In that case, you just ran straight into the... <clears throat> straight into the Sigma Burst, which is unfortunate. Zarya is popping off. This is true. At least they now have a Farrah. That makes your life a bit easier because you can just snipe her. Good dodge. Good kill. Mm. 
no need to go too far from here because now there will be a higher chance of you guys getting cleaned up, which is definitely looking like what's going to happen here. Actually not half bad at pressuring an airborne target, but it could be better. 6k high noon believe chat. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, you... Oh! You let it go too early. That's fine. Probably could have gotten at least four with it, but that's fine. There, there was a Junkrat tire involved too. So once again, fucking five alts were spent instantly. That's a feels fucking bad. Once again, five alts were spent. Five. Need some actual, like, restraint for some people. Or at least some communication to figure out when. Like, who's going to use what and when? Really throwing their tempo away? 100%. Like, they've finally managed to rest control back in this game. Please don't ever short fan the hammer. The two bullets are better spent just left-clicking in most situations anyway. Even in six-bullet situations. <clears throat> it's still better. Almost a kill. Unfortunate. How you doing, Scythine, mate? Welcome. Lay it on thick, son. Do all the damages. Slightly late reaction, but at least she died. <laughs> Wasn't going to die to you, unfortunately, so that's something to keep in mind for next time. Ooh. Ooh. Why? Wait. Why not just hold it? You could have gotten more damage out of it even against the shield because it would have still lined up ahead because there was one at the back that was ready for it. Did you just short right click again? Not monitoring ammo before stunning feels bad. Enemy fire could have combo with Zara. There they didn't. People don't use their brains, man. Even in Diamond, people think that Diamond is like a good showcase for it sometimes, but you just don't see it. The brains are not being used, chat. <clears throat> cool. Managed to managed to pick it up in the end, but fucking hell, what a what a messy half that was. Very messy half. Sense DPI, eight hundred DPI with five point five five in game. Definitely seem to maintain like your your aim pretty well in most cases. It's a bit it's a bit rickety, but. <clears throat> at least against the beefy target, you don't struggle, and that's a good sign. I say, being a bit aggressive, all things considered, and now you're dead. Paid for that one with your life. I'm going to practice keeping what you said. The hard thanks going away. No worries, Petri. All the best. Oh, boy. All right. I'm glad you managed to get onto like a good side angle here, so you shouldn't have too much trouble as long as you stay hidden. But problem is, yeah, constantly repeeking out the same spot's going to get you like murdered because they're onto your spot now. Just be careful about repeeking. <clears throat> That's almost perfect. Too many missed shots here. Honestly, at this point, I would suggest you go front to back just purely so that, like, at least you'll hit the shots and then you can go for an ulti. Because it save, it'll save save you a lot more trouble in the long run, too, just because purely, like, missing all those shots on the back line doesn't get you, doesn't net you anything. I'm just glad you can shoot a stun target, though. That makes me feel a little bit better. But yeah, unfortunately, because of all that waste, didn't actually end up getting that point pushed. Which is unfortunate. Watching Comeback is Reaper is saying hi and team kills everyone. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> if if we can keep up the kind Reaper meme, I'm okay with it, honestly. Because <laughs> it was cute as hell, and I, I definitely valued it. Is this an attempt? Another random right click for no reason? Oh, I should have held it again. Either that or just don't use it in the first place. Frozen in the middle of it. Wasted Lucio ult. Feels bad, man. Twitches the item for some reason. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> I 
Oh, you missed the shot. Wow. Those are shots you can't miss. You can't afford to miss those. Hmm. Turning out, but what, why do you keep randomly right clicking at the end of your clips? Does, you're not playing Zarya, you know. There's no value to it. If anything, it just makes your DPS less. So nerfing yourself randomly on the fly, it's not cool. What is that melody? Honestly, I just want to play Sigma just so I can yeet a rock at somebody. Okay, we really got to have a chat about these ultimates. Because uh, I've got no clue what you were attempting there. And then you ended up just like running forwards on your own and getting killed. I don't get it. You suddenly like get too big for your britches and decided, fuck it, I'm going to go right up in that paint and see how I go. Ended up doing absolutely nothing and getting killed. Created two ulties for it too, which is very unfortunate. <clears throat> I mean, your team got the point for free afterwards because of all the spending, but it's just... Like, if you want to, like, excel without, like, wasting the rest of your team's ulties, that was definitely something you should have done. There was just either hold the ulti out since you had the nano on you, or just don't use the ulti at all. If you're trying to use it for the reload function, then you're meant to right-click out of it, not left-click. Also flat. Feels bad. I'll have some sig before you next week. I feel like I'm decent, but can definitely improve. I mean, sure. It's pretty standard, like, thought process to take. Everyone believes they're decent until they get on the roast, and then suddenly we don't even know. Can't miss that. You're starting to get panic now. I can I can feel the panic now. Quality of the, of the shots is dwindling a lot. Fuck. It's getting harder to look at now. It's rolled forwards into death. Feels bad. I don't get it. What, what's the point in going this aggressive if you can't even land the shot? Like, it do, you don't do more damage if you're, if you're that much closer. Oh, wow. Okay. We're, we're, we sacked the McCree ult for, the, for a junk rat. Okay. This will be interesting. All right. Let's see what you got now. Keep in mind, right? The enemy doesn't even have a shield. So there's really no need to really run the junk rat. You could honestly just play anyone and you'd be fine here. <clears throat> Junkrat, if anything, just gives you the extra damage, sure, on some occasions, but even then, it's not like, yeah, it's not like it's going to make a, a huge difference unless you're properly, like, blowing up people with mines, but we've seen that so far, which isn't so bad, but again, that was hilarious, because the guy walked straight onto your passive. <laughs> cool, I guess. Whatever you reckon, but, <laughs> fuck, how awkward. How awkward, chat. Yes. Yeah, I know. That, that actually walked up forward onto the trap, died of the passive. Hilarious. Hilarious. <clears throat> that hog's name, Piggy Main BTW. Piggy Piggy. Did 
don't know about I don't know about why you bamped that guy backwards. You should have just put a bear trap down on it if you were that keen on killing him instantly. Good escape. Still standing in the open though, not actually being aware of that. Feels bad. It's looking like another loss. Go for the double jump if you want to get there quick enough. Double mine jump. Mine into mine in flight. Uh, would have been back up by now. It's just a tire. Is it time for the tire? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, you won. Never mind. Whatever. Whatever. Enemies don't have a show them what does Sigma have? Rocks. <sighs> For the record, right, in regards to Sigma, Sigma is much easier to deal with compared to, like, Orisa. I've had this conversation before, right? I'm going to just make this clear. My, my first, like, reaction to Sigma is that the character himself is, is just a very well-rounded character, but it has absolutely zero excelling field at all. Like... He has, like, an ulti that is as good as Arya's, but not better, like, in the sense that it doesn't group people close enough. He has a shield that is better than Reinhardt's, but worse than Orisa's, because it the regen is the same as Reinhardt's in that vein, but and you can keep repositioning it like Orisa's, which makes it good, but you don't have as much, like, replaceability as Orisa does, so it's pointless. Like, it's not as good. Um, Damage-wise, it's not as strong as any other tank in the game, really. It's good output, but it's still not better than Orisa. Um... The fake matrix he has is okay, but again, it doesn't help. It only helps for himself more so because of the range of it. It doesn't help like anyone else like Divas does. So it's not like he can't replace Diva in that vein. Um, his rock throwing thing is an, a nice stun, but it's, I don't even know if it's AOE. It might just, it only seems to hit one target directly on. And it's not as, it's not even as long as like other ones would be in that case as well. Plus it has fall off. It's a stun that has fall off. Like you aren't just literally yeeting it in a straight line. It actually falls down, which is realistic, but unfortunate. So yeah, like he's well-rounded, but he just doesn't do enough. Now about the person playing. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. The amount of times that you're like running ahead of your tank, I would actually believe you are a tank main trapped in a DPS position right now. I think it's AOE, but direct it stun. Like the damage is AOE. That makes sense. But yeah, it's just awkward like to deal with like everything about sigma's kit is okay but it's not good enough no there's no fall off what do you mean there's a range fall off it literally dips you don't just yeet it in a straight line it actually falls not damage fall off like an actual range fall off that's what i meant to say i'm just stupid like a, it actually dips that's what i'm looking at there's probably a term for that that's not coming to me right now but yeah way too much frontlining as a especially as may and mccree like you're not going to get any benefit out of that the walls were just plain awkward on May, but it was only a short time played, so I'm not really going to give you a lot of discussion about that. Um, for McCree, uh, there was definitely some promise about aiming against an airborne target. Aim in general does need a bit of work, and I would recommend practicing it more and more. Ulties just in general need work. Like, every single ulti you had was short-charged, kind of pointlessly placed, and it wasn't even like used as a reload cancel, if need be, for that. Uh, even when you were nanoed on two occasions, you just didn't actually use it for it. R Rocket long range is a three second stun. And actually, like the stun duration is different depending on the distance, which is cool. I'm glad for that. It'd be weird otherwise. But again, in short range, it doesn't make him any better than Roadhog, for instance. So that's another problem with Sigma. It's weird. It's like good stun, bad stun is very like dependent on the situation. I mean, a rock is a rock. It does love throwing a rock. But yeah. Uh, Junkrat wise, same sort of thing there. Just trying to flank awkwardly and getting way too close to the action and getting killed when you were essentially just trying to lob shit over. If your if your whole point of playing Junkrat there was to just put pressure on, you could have done it without being face tanked the whole way through. Pull pork tank combo better than playing Sigma. Most cases, yes. Like Zarya is still better because it groups people closer together, but at least there's more ground covered for Sigma's ulti, so it's got like good potential there. Sigma's shield makes him better than Reinhardt in that vein for shield-wise, but he doesn't have as much, like, beefiness as Reinhardt has on the fly. So, again, big problem. So, yeah, he ain't going to be perfect, but he'll be fun in solo queue, I suppose. 
People are saying like there's a lot of potential to the way you play Sigma, and I've, I'm waiting to see it. But my first knee-jerk reaction is that he's very well-rounded, but he doesn't have a very like very big reason to be taken over other characters. Kind of like Diva Sigma. I mean, Diva Sigma could work, but it would have to be on a defensive side of things, and in that case, you'd still be better off using Arissa in a lot of situations. So it's weird. It's very weird. It's very strange. Found out joining an Overwatch team isn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. Maybe you just joined a crap team, dude. Why and Sigma old is good too? Nah, McCree alt plus Sigma is better. Because at least they're all in the air and nothing can be blocking the way. They're just stuck there. They just have to float and just eat the fucking headshot. No shot calling, no comp planning. So yeah, definitely not a team that you are that you joined there. You just joined like a, a clump of idiots. No offense. But yeah, that's not a team. Anyway, thank you, Emily, for your submission. Hope to see another one from you in the future. But definitely, like, just work on not being too aggressive. It's scaring the hell out of me. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're here now. End of Slayer. Oh, yeah, Emily, as well, please remember to actually fix the, uh, the sound. Make me feel a lot better. Oh, God. Uh, and what the hell is the, the bit right here? Look, this looks like fried shit. I'm gonna have to skip it. Console Sombra. <laughs> I would have left the uh, Transicator on that point if we were going to use it there. Hmm, didn't actually lose it. I would definitely go through the right if you're worried about getting hit there. Good hack. Cool. I'd probably break out earlier if I were you. Why didn't you just break out? Your translocator was down. Why not just use it? Just ended up just taking the hit and dying. Tried to watch the support man on DPS and tank. That's fine. Still doesn't change what you did there. It was a silly idea. Alright, Ender Slayer 197. They are gold? Gold? Yep. And they're playing Sombra first. On a Blizzard World. <clears throat> Still a little bit just frustrated so far about the way you're um, using Translocator. Do you now have to prove my point right after I said it, bro? Translocator got killed at some point. Really? Hang on. Are you saying when you died here that your Translocator got killed? Let's see. Ah, huh, so it did. I'm trying to figure out how, though, since it was placed, like, hella far back. Unfortunate. I would have just chucked... At that point, you should have just chucked it over anyway and used it. But even then, by that point, you'd already done what you needed to do, so I don't understand why you stayed there for so long. Which, again, bugs me in and of itself. Like, what benefit are you aiming to get? Another crappy translocator that I forgot to move past. I'm trying to play Sombra as a frontline, really awkward. Oh, Bob frag. At least just shoot it in the head, bro. You can't get him dodging around like that if you're not actually gonna shoot it straight on. Mid-range damage is not pretty, just saying. You don't have anyone there with you. Dude, what is this fucking... What is this... Uh, FPS? <clears throat> you don't really need to, like, reach out for a hack every single time unless you're actually, like, with them and are able to kill them. Because it ends up in, like, kind of in this situation now where you can't actually do anything here. Although I would have definitely recommended going for that Mercy who was free for it. I like how this frame skips now. This is very awkward. 
And what did you do to this video? You didn't even hack anyone there except for the Diva. Ender, not looking good, mate. I just downloaded off Twitch. <sighs> Thank you. Did you download it then handbrake it? Are you wait, what bit rate are you stream? Wait, you're streaming this to Twitch. This wouldn't look very good on Twitch either then, dude. Your internet connection is not handling it. <clears throat> Unless you're doing this on Wi-Fi. Wait, you're not doing this on Wi-Fi, are you? Please don't tell me you're trying to stream this on Wi-Fi. You could have gone for the, like, at least the head neck chest area. Aiming too low is a bit awkward well, because you're not going to get a lot of kills on her instantly. She's moving in a straight line, so it makes your life easier. Well, rank is it? This is gold. But it's console. That's kind of the big problem here. I got no capture card, so I stream it then to then download. I mean, that makes sense. But can't you just export the replay directly now? Can't you just record over it like you do on PS4? You are using Wi-Fi. This is why it's so bad, dude. You can't, you can't stream on Wi-Fi. It's horrible. You end up with so many drops. It's not funny. It's about to happen again. Nah, dude. I'm not watching this one. Hopefully, your second one's a little bit better. But fucking, yeah. The, 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 the stoppage here is horrible. Let's just see if this is any better. One certainly looks better. Although this isn't you. Here we go. It's quality, man. This is so fuzzy, holy shit. Let's see how we go. I'll give I'll give you a little longer. See how we go. <laughs> Recommendation if you can't actually get an Ethernet down to your PC console there is to look up using power line. Yeah, power lines. Yeah. So we're, we're recommending that to Wacky at the moment to help him figure out that shit because it's so much safer to use. Holy hell, man. This is a fuck. This isn't even a slideshow. It's like watching like static on TV. my tiny soul. I'm sorry, Ender. This is, uh, absolutely, like, if this is going to keep going on the entire video, this is way too hard to watch. I'm sorry, man. I tried, but it's just, it's way too much. I bet my vote is good, Pepe. Hands, look, if I keep vetoing videos at this rate, we might actually get to it. I use internet whatever. Please do, man. Uh, it's so much better. It's better in general. It will give you a better connection in general. Save you so much tr I saw that picture in Binheads, dude. <laughs> that should go in rec actions. 100% Medi. It's so good. It's also mocker adapters, coaxial. Do not use a coaxial. Those things are, like... In a lot of cases, a lot of those are just not made for the proper connections. Alright, next person. Scooby! Scooby dooby doo. Where are you? You're up on the fucking stream now. Scooby dooby doo. What the fuck are you playing on this? Oh wait.
I can't actually, that's right. I can't listen to this guy's fucking one either because this genius put music on during his fucking thing. Ugh. So yeah, since I actually, like, if you actually want me to coach you effectively, I have to mute the music just purely so that you can actually get me instead of getting a muted video. So it also said to me, I, I, you feel bad about, what? what is it exactly you said to me? He felt bad. He's sorry for the music and for being a fanny in the background. I've never heard of anyone calling themselves a fanny before, but cool, man. Not going to actually be able to figure that out just purely because I have to mute this the entire way through. So, yeah. Feels fucking bad, man. It's muted for this because music is and copyright laws are a bad mix. For future reference, if you want me to be able to hear game sounds while doing it, you have to be able to, yeah, keep it without. Anyway, this is Scooby. He's in silver. He's playing Genji, and we are on King's Row. <clears throat> I know you've dealt with this every other time. It's never been that bad before, Ender. It's never, like, stopped and started like that before. Not that often. I mean, I tried. I was being nice about it before, but that was this is definitely the worst it's ever been. And yeah, there's definitely nothing I could view there very well. So please fix it. <clears throat> Palin is always still provided. I mean, everything's better than Wi-Fi. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a rec action channel. What the fuck do you mean? Man, is I'm literally pinging you in it. It's right there. And a throwing shade. Yeah, and and giving me that rude dude stuff. <clears throat> So his, na his username is Shevlo, his Twitch name is Shevlo, his in-game name is Hypno, and his Discord name is Scooby. I'll get new ones to the internet for you tomorrow. No worries, man. But then when you had me, it wasn't there before. You probably had it muted. If you have it muted and, and, it, and show like channels off, that's probably why. Uh, please don't ever use the dash unless you're like guaranteed to get out or guaranteed to get a kill so you can get out afterwards. Because using it like that was a bit of a risk. Probably part of the reason you could have ended up dead there. Actually dashes out well, which is not so bad. I'll even make sure it's not TCP. What a sweetheart. Thank you, Ender. <coughs> <clears throat> Absolutely zero awareness of the run up behind you and then dashes out, lands in front of the Reaper and dies. Feels bad, man. Awareness needs to go up, man. You gotta pay attention. You gotta listen out. Maybe if you weren't playing music, you wouldn't be so desensitized to game sounds. Probably would have heard that Reinhardt coming from the side. No worries, Maxes, mate. You have a nice night. All the best. So, Max, if you're not in Discord already, be sure to join. Come say hi. If you can't hear a soldier putting down a heal pad, you're throwing... Dude, Chaos King, I don't even know what the hell kind of weird-ass headphones you're using, but they're probably not made for the future here. You just watched the guy die. Holy shit. Right, since I'm not going... No, I'm going to head off the lines here. Right? No worries, and all the best, mate. Good night. Yeah, instead of listening to Barbie Girl, listen to the Chaos of War. Fucking, it's way safer. Also, who the, who the right mind would listen to Barbie Girl, unironically, as, like, gaming music? Poor. OBS is not catching you trying to do this very well, dude. Oh. Is that game lag or FPS lag? Did you got 40 FPS? What are you recording this in? 720p. Okay. If you're trying to record this in 60 FPS, maybe lower it to 30. Because you've got 40 FPS in game and that's not any way to play generally. That'll just record your replay next time just for safety. That way you don't have to have the music on either. Would help for everyone involved. You get to see Volbeat next week? Oh, that's fucking sick. Here we go. Charging ulti. They were careened off by the Diva ult already, which is good. <clears throat> I'm still a bit awkward on your approach to most of these fights. Did you just stand on top of the junk rat and nearly kill yourself? Holy shit, dude. Yeah. 
Think about Genji, and a lot of people can't do this very well in lower ranks, and I understand why, but yeah, like, actually trying to, like, act on a flank is uh, the hardest thing in the world for a Genji to do, because they always try and go through the front line, and it's not, like, safe at all. But when people, like, try to go for the flank effectively, they don't really pick out a target and go for, like, that kill properly. They end up just, like, poking it, trying to dash onto it, and then it's a 50-50 on whether or not they actually get the kill. And it's really awkward, because it never ends up good afterwards, but yeah... You're wasting your dash cooldown way too much, and it's very, very risky. Like, once your dash is on cooldown, if you don't guarantee yourself a kill in the like next, like, you know, little while, you're going to die. It's just a guarantee. You are going to get wiped off the face of the earth. It's not safe. Recommend not using X264 unless you have a beast CPU. Always go H264 to prevent loss in game. Cool. The more you know, chat, the more you know. I feel like I might have to write, like, a short recording guide. And just make it its own channel. Like, the pins in the discussion channel are just not fucking helping anymore. Apparently, people are just not being aware of what to do here. So, I, like, make up some screenshots and just work it from there. It might be worth doing. Magico, you're dead to me. Get to do making a video on basic... If you do, Madness, can you please, like, give it to me so I can just pin it in a channel or like in the VOD review criteria. It would so it would be so helpful. Just record on your PS4, it's always good. I mean, yeah, but the the problem with Ender's recordings, Ender's on an Xbox. So apparently it just does not seem to work better than a PS4. Take that one in the fucking console war, bitch. Anyway. But yeah. It's just not great. I'm off all weeks, so I have something to do with it. I mean, that's fine. No, no rush. But if I say if you end up doing it, just let me know. Oh god, what is that? Look at these duels. Look at all this po- Okay, quick thing. If you're going to keep moving like this, can you please actually practice moving with your, like, mouse as you're moving? Like, as in, try to stay locked onto your target while you're moving. Go into the practice range if you have to, and just track and move. Because all these flicks that you're doing, you're missing shots. Massive amounts of shots. You're not even paying attention to, like, being flanked either. Like, every situation. If you're just listening to the music hard out, and you're not aware of where anyone is... It's awkward. I'm so glad you killed that tire. I'm not. I'm not even sure as to how. But how did you miss the second set of shurikens after that? You felt you got the freedom like to do all of this, and you're just not winning it. At least you got the point already, which is good. But oh man, it's just so freaking awkward. Takes fire head on. It's not safe. That's it. Like, if you're a flanker and you're constantly running forwards into fights and you're trying to wonder, like, how on earth you survive that, just consider not doing that. Also, yeah, <laughs> wasting a deflect after standing in a trap and then getting smacked by uh, the Reaper feels bad, man. That is uh, your own fault there, again. Just getting caught out on too many fucking things. I would recommend, like, going in through the left here and getting on the, the high ground and seeing if you can, like, poke in from the back and land on people because it would actually give you such a good opportunity to actually fight. Oh, I was about to say, this is a good dash through to get a kill, except your first target happened to be Reaper and then Arissa. How awkward. Because it should have just jumped out, man. Oh. You're just you're just over committing to it as well. Even though you know you can't survive it, you're just committing it anyway. It's scary. Junk God is still my greatest in-game fear. Really? The bombs are dropping? We're afraid? Good kill. How many... Like, was that a Junkrat bomb again? There's a Junkrat bomb right in front of you. Almost walked straight into it again. Oh, never mind. Walked into that one instead. Oh, yeah. That went all right. Your boy Reaper cleaning up. Cleaning house. My greatest in-game fear is Abagana Los Luces. The Sombra Odd? That's, that's a free kill. Hey! Easy clap. Certainly a good amount of aggression in, this, in these fights, man, but I'm just not really feeling that you're aware of everything that's going on around you. I swear if you get sniped here, I'm going to die. Uh. 
back to the this the front to back Genji. <clears throat> what is your tank line? Diva and Sigma? Again, no guaranteed kill. Risks it with the dash again. Fuck. Scares me when you attempt this every single time too, because it's just it's not safe at all. Uh, so you're more likely going to get shot in the back than anyone's going to be able to heal you there. Just get out. Okay, that guy's AFK. That's sick. Keep missing all these shurikens. Somehow hit one on the fadeaway. What? <laughs> I get this is essentially supposed to be used like submitting a VOD for help purposes, but like, is this going to be a stomp? Or do you guys finally like get a little too overconfident and get shut down for it? My greatest in-game fear is Petri playing his cracked out Reaper. <laughs> I'll be sure to let him know, dude. All right, we jumped into the back. We missed the slash dash. Dude, you got to practice the slash dash combo. Please. Okay. Go into a custom game, generate a bunch of anabots, and just with full HP and zero cooldowns, and just continually practice just slash dashing onto people. Just slash dash, slash dash, over and over again. And just learn like to practice uh, how to do it continually between targets, so on and so forth. Just keep going straight onto each one because it will keep you so much easier. There's a workshop for Genji Play Practice. Do you have the link for it? Can you, and if so, can you DM it to me on Discord? I've got to start gathering like a bunch of good workshop practice uh, regimes. I've got to get some of them together because I've really, really, really got to send some people into them. That's so good to have that. Dude, workshop has definitely come like real far with everything, but I have not, I've not collected any of them, which is really bad. I have the aim workshop. Yes, please DM it to me. If you have any sort of decent, like, practicing workshop, please DM it to me and tell me what it does. And I will have a look into it, and I will, like, collate a list of, like, decent ones to use. Good. Now just hit the right-click dash melee, please. Misses the dash, and the melee, and the right-click. There we go. Took a while, but we got there in the end, but we're trying to, we're trying to avoid that. That mainly just comes down to you properly, like, aiming your shit. And just not flicking away from me. You know what? I need to check this now. I'm actually losing it at your fucking sensitivity. What is your sensitivity? Oh, you didn't actually give me your sense in DPI, did you? Did you? No, no, no. Sense DPI 5... Oh, sense 5 DPI 1600. It's way too high. Way too high. Dude. Your sensitivity is a lot higher than it should be for even though for a character like Genji who does rely on the 180s, you're still flicking around your target way too often. It's making it difficult for you. Okay, let me put it to you this way, chat. My sensitivity is 1605, and that's considered high. And it's only the only reason I use such a high one is because of this, and it's about to go higher because my wrist is getting worse for this. I've used blade practice literally every day, and there's notable difference in my. Please, God, send me it. Please. Also, yeah, I'm going to go check the waste adult now. Sorry, give me a second. How bad is the waste? Oh, it's horrible. Never mind. <laughs> just skip it. Just fuck it. Just use a controller rack. I will beat you with a controller. How's that sound? Just because you and Legion think like using a controller is like the best thing since sliced bread, even for a PC game, doesn't mean that anyone else with an actual like functioning lifestyle wants to do it. Just saying. Normal Genji thing blade when you have 10 H. But yeah, man, have to be real clutch. Get those clutch blades. Never mind that I'm silver and can't actually use blade effectively. Like, come on, man. Consistency, please. You do the smart thing. Just don't waste it. But yeah, look at how much he's flicking around his target, dude. The guy has a better chance of drawing a pentagram around his target with, like, one stroke than he does actually, like, properly being able to aim on his target. That's not cool. That's right, Daragard is serrated, right? I keep forgetting that. Because, you know, imagine using the same name across all platforms. Jesus. Please? Didn't even go for the dash. He was so scared of missing the dash, he didn't even go for it. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. 
damn right, son. Please don't say nine. I believe in you. Please don't say nine. No mind, you're dead. You ulti. That's fine. He wasted the ulti. Twitch account is older and less cool of a name than Serrated. I don't know, man. You didn't even spell Serrated properly. You tell me what's cooler. I think Daragart sounds cooler. Personally. <clears throat> sounds like a man of culture. Unlike the name Serrated. He has gold damage. What the fuck? Yeah, look, I'm not saying his team is doing particularly well here, but this is the joys of Silver Games. Easily carryable, but if you're not like playing your character effectively at all, you will immediately start like falling on the back foot, and that's not how you want to do this. Come get some. <laughs> Talk father one a mega lol with the with the prime sub. If you manage to keep that name, then cool. But thanks for the sub anyway, my dude. Welcome to the Binhead Army. Don't you been enjoy your emotes? How Wreck feels about... What does that say? How Wreck feels about... I'm going to read that at the end of the game. Controllers? Oh, are yeah. you? Alright, I think we need to not have you type complete sentences. Wait, what did I miss? How did I see that list? Okay, so link your account to Discord. And <clears throat> when you, uh, within an hour, it should update. And then I'll update, the, I'm going to update the list at the end of the day today. <clears throat> it's all in the Discord, my good man. You will get that shit. If you happen to have already submitted a VOD, let me know. And I will actually tell you what position you are in the queue if you're that desperate. But DM me, please, in Discord, and I will let you know. If you did, just let me know. Because it takes an hour for the bot to update. So if you're desperate, we can tell you. Or, yeah, DM a mod. Because, yeah, it takes... Uh, the bot takes an hour because it's a piece of shit. Oh, that's you? <laughs> of course it's you. Oh, horrible freaking name indeed. Oh, dear. Man, you spent all this time in the back line trying to fight them and then you missed the climb up the wall and get smacked in the back of the head again. I'm... <clears throat> you guys ever try to summon 250k potatoes in Minecraft? Why do I need to summon them in Minecraft when I get them in video form every single day? Why? You can't give the role. It's bot in integrated. You can't give the role. <clears throat> I'll sort him out after stream. Don't worry about it. I've got it. I will sort it. No, you can't, True Blade. You can give him access to the channel, but you can't give him the role. And we're not doing it like that. Should I lower my sense of my DPI is 1,000 and 7.5? Not really. I mean, it's high, but it's not like the end of the world. <clears throat> it depends on how well you aim. And if you're a tank player, you don't really need that in the first place. You need the spin. For a player like this, though, who literally, like, regardless of gold damage values and regardless of everything he's trying to do here is still like drawing like triangles around his targets while trying to aim that would be a reason to actually check into it but generally like even with the amount of damage he's doing there's still a lot more that like can be looked into for that <clears throat> yeah but you aren't playing an fps game true blade and if you were i'd probably have to kill you anyway scooby mate i'm gonna be honest with you like i get why <clears throat> You're like, you're, I get that, like, you're trying to do, like, all the good flanky things and the good pokey things as Genji. I get it, right? I totally get it. But what bugs me to this day is about every Genji player, especially low-rated ones, is I'm watching you, like, do all this really awkward shit where you're trying to, like, um, like, hit the poke or try to go in for the dash kill. But you're, you're not, you're doing it just because you've seen someone else do. You don't really know why you're actually trying to attempt this. Like, in every situation when you try to go in for a particular fight, you can't actually, like... <clears throat> you can't actually... Work... How do I put this? If you can't actually understand why, like, the combo works the way it works, and you just do it for the sake of it, you don't actually get any benefit from it. And that sucks. I would rather you actually just understand that, like, the whole purpose of, like, the combo, like, the shurikens into the dash melee right-click, like, cancel thing, all of that on its own 
act does a specific amount of damage that enables you to get a kill in most cases. Especially with a headshot. It's just overkill, right? If you can do that effectively each time, even just in the back, you will actually be able to go go right ahead and just do it over and over again. <clears throat> if you're wondering why and how that works, like you will certainly be able to just do it effectively by just tracking on your target and just staying with them. Properly target selecting in fights and not wasting your ult. They're the three main things you want to start with. Sliding into the DMs, sliding out of the DMs. Imagine being a 50-year-old wrinkle bag. That's just tough, man. Donate $100 if I can go a whole stream without saying like. I. But then I can't tell you that I like you as a human being. Just say love, but I don't love him. There's only one person that has my love. Do you mean it? Azora? That's for me to know and for you to find out. Is it Wakazashi? What? <laughs> it's literally Sophronize right there. That said it. <laughs> What's it got to do with Wakazashi? Or is that something else you guys are talking about? Recollecting someone as a human being. Yeah, look, it's tough. You should give me the hundred dollars anyway, so for nice. Just cause. That way you can deafen me and I can tell you that I hate you. And it'll be much more genuine. <laughs> but yeah. If I'm gonna be honest with you, Scoob mate, I think just the basics and the fundamentals of this game need to be more apparent to you. So I would recommend, even if you have to watch every single Genji VOD in the previous like year's worth of, of the roast, I would just recommend starting with what it means to be a flanker. Just Understand that like going up the middle and throwing poke down isn't always going to work with that. And like searching for a target in the back line helps if you have the awareness to not get smashed. I know who has your love full course. Hey, for the small price of $100, you might even get a fraction of the love I have for full course. <laughs> uh, I can't even be that kind of person. I'm so horrible at it just like break character every moment now the only person who loves me who loves a degenerate nico otps like me probably not honestly <clears throat> even if your twitch name is kind of funny anyway uh Last chance to definitely so for I'm tuning out for the day. But yeah, thank you to everyone that came today for the Overwatch race. There are a couple of VODs left in queue. They will be for next week. Uh, but at this point in time, we had a pretty good run. Hope everyone's enjoying the beginning of the beginning of the 222 meta. It's definitely looking like it's going to turn out nice. So can't wait to see some more videos from everyone and everyone getting involved. It's going to be some good times. Um, for those of you who are unaware or brand new, you can join the Discord and you can submit a VOD. I said 100 viewers for 50 subs. Yeah, that's still happening. It ain't going to stop. But yeah, pop yourself into the Discord. Give me that good stuff. Send me those VODs. We can get more good times going. Basically, what's happening now is if we run out of VODs at all for any game, I'll be doing variety streams. It's just up 13 viewers and leaves SMA. Hey, man, this is a standard day. I've left on I've left on 150 viewers before. It had it had to be done. I need my health and safety. I need my food. I'm hungry. But yeah. Thank you to everyone that came around today. If you care about social media and anything like that, just pop yourselves onto those. They're all there. I can give you all the leave words. Uh, I've got plenty of those. Thanks. Anyway. Um yeah. Tomorrow is league day, folks. If you're down for League of Legends, I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you next week. 100 viewers, where did they go? They came from a host. <laughs> I got randomly hosted by uh, Panunu. Yeah, Panunu. And uh, it was pretty cool. It's a good time. Got a lot of followers that day. A few of them stayed around. It's good times. But yeah. Either way, I'll see you all for League tomorrow, chat. You all be good. Love you all. And of course, best to you. Bye-bye.